Yeah. All right. That was a that was a whole lot of energy and and um whole lot of strain that went into those that last little run there. Uh learning about the fucking oh yeah, learning about what we learned about the force gods. It, yeah, that was a whole that was that so was So like let's be clear, they're not gods. They're just beings who ascended past the mortal realm and exist in a permanent Amen. ethereal timeless state. Everyone has opinions and I'm glad I continue to skirt around spoilers cuz I did get some set my way but uh I, I, I so managed. what were we up to? We wanted, but I didn't click play. Yeah. So it's all right. What are we up to? We're uh. We planted. We're getting. We're getting prestige. Yeah. We we were getting prestige, and also uh, his bed is no longer a safe space it's for him. It's poison. So it's good poison. I think all we God, have to do. God, is there ability to talk to him and be like, "I poisoned your bed." I don't know, <laughs> but I would. I, I was gonna go back and talk to her, but maybe we can talk to him <laughs> first. Not forget our agreement regarding Uthera's oh, treachery. Jesus. We shall put her in her place. Like just back Should and you forth. Reach the final forever. test. That is. By the way, do I get prestige uh, for poisoning your okay, bed? Okay, no, yeah. but you did kill those kids. Yes, I did. This was probably the trigger. Uh, maybe. Who the fuck even knows now? But then again, there's those four locations, so I don't... Okay, I don't know which one's gonna end the planet. None of them. They'll, they'll ju he'll just give you the fucking... Okay, oh. alright, alright. The ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done, then. It's very done. They are all dead. Indeed. I had the caverns checked after you left. Well done. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. So, if you were doing this light side, you have to get them off the planet instead. Oh. And then you go up to him and you say, Hey, they're fucking dead. I killed them all. They're gone. And he's like, yeah, I checked. They're super gone. Good job. Right? Because they, they have to give a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. proper way to get through this shit. Right, right. Even though I can probably still feel their presence. We don't, we don't talk don't, about that. Hey, listen. Force. You have gained considerable How do I put prestige. This? Like the the ability of the, the force sense thing. I know exactly who you are and it, where you it are. It is might be the most poorly defined thing that I. Some I've people can in use it as a global universal scouter. Yeah. To know exactly who is where, and other people are just like, oh no, a bunch of Dude. force users died. Millions of light years away. Yeah. Like, like. Now you've almost enough prestige mm -hmm. to be declared the victor. Fucking what? And it's like, oh, I can't feel. It's different. Hey, it, it's different for some people. Some people are in tune to the mother. Everyone has. Oh. Are. <laughs> oh, he's using it against me. Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I think I, I explored all of these options. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now, now what's left to do you is to, very close to you. Uh, there's a holocron in one of those tombs. It's basically tomb raiding. Yeah. You know what I didn't realize actually until again a lot of this this lore jumping has been going down. There's so much dumping and jumping. Um, I didn't realize that holocrons were also capable of like reflecting the the personalities. I did not know that. <laughs> Of the people? Oh, uh, is this? Yeah, is it? Yeah. No, you want to go to the valley, right? So it was past him yeah. down where the other people were. I want to say, let me take a look at that map. Yes. Um, so there's, so when uh, I was uh, corrected on my wrongness about, uh, I was like, oh yeah, Darth Crate Rule of Two. And I was like, he ended the Rule of Two. Right, and the one who, who invented it is uh, Darth Bane, I believe. Exactly, and so like, there's this whole thing we we're talking about how like um, Bane's holocron was getting super pissy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you, you're able, you're able to put your personality in, and yeah, and it was like, what are you doing? Oh, and he's basically like going, he's like going, like you're not worthy of being a Sith, and he's calling him out, and basically like doing the taint ghost effect. You know the taint ghost thing you want to do? Oh yeah. You can do that as a holocron. Holy shit, Wooly! Can you please pull your microphone slightly further away from your mouth? You're so loud today. Uh, it's a new mixer. Oh no. It's a new. It's You're a new. so powerful. I'm used to. I'm used to you, having to lean forward because exactly. of the old mixer. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I'm so glad we got a new mixer. Everything's so great now. Um, yeah. Yeah, dude. Just stop. No, Scarby. The rule of two, like, okay, so the rule of two to anybody who is, 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 uh, not as cool knowledgeable name. about Star Wars as me Super and Wooly cool here. Name. It's basically, we've been talking about 
uh, the Sith organizational practices, let's yes. say, in in this playthrough, and how they lead to like certain disaster Dangerous near assassin. universally. Get you yeah. out of trouble if you do something. And Darth stupid. Bane comes along and goes, "No, okay, guys, the Sith code doesn't allow for large organizations. It just doesn't." Everyone's work. bomb under everyone's desk at everyone's cubicle is just not going to let it's, us win the war. It's not feasible. It's just not feasible. So. We're going to have two Sith, ever, at any one time, in the whole fucking galaxy. If you, what is the line? If you pour poison into, if you dilute poison and spread it amongst everybody, it's morally, merely an irritant. But if you pour it all into one cup, it can kill a crate dragon. Wow. Um, so you got the master and then the apprentice. And we're going to go on the regular Sith stuff about kill your master and be cool, right? Um... So that makes sense organizationally. You should be careful if you're like planning kind of on entering this. It falls apart on a galactic it's scale. Dangerous. The I, so the, the problem is that it, it comes with two ideas, one which is good and one which is not so good. And the one that is good is we should disappear into the shadows, not have a company logo and business cards that we hand out to people. Since we're willing to do a bunch of dirt in the shadows, let's why, live. Why fight a big war? Let's let's peace the fuck out and uh just, you know, be an enemy that you never know where we are. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right? Yeah. Basically, let's let's become terrorists. Good idea. Let's Akatsuki it. Yeah, you know, uh, Whatever. Uh, Akatsuki. And then the other thing is, but let's also reduce our numbers to a crippling low so that if one ever destroys the other, the whole system falls apart. <laughs> and you're like, well, fuck. You had a good thing going. You had a good thing. There's an assassin mm. droid in there. So Master Uthar says it's it's it went it's a little and goofy. A and also, I don't understand how it's enforceable it. on a galactic scale. The the I think somebody mentioned to me that the the estimated population of Star Wars is approaching a hundred trillion people. As long as <laughs> someone kills them all, until there's you know you just go hunting. Like Palpatine was a busy boy. He had a lot of time on his hands. Yeah, but that means that, like, okay, let's look back to the I prequel where Palpatine, like, he, he kicked the shit out of those guys, except for Mace Windu. Supposedly, right? If mm -hmm. a Say you just let the oh, we're gonna have the, the one and the Sith. We're gonna have he's gonna be reward. really strong. He's a Lots big, try, strong Sith, but right? Mm -hmm. Big number. Yet. But the Jedi get like actually a billion dice rolls no idea. at making one guy than stronger than you. That's true. That's true. Like, they get so many coin flips. So many. But it's, you know, it's that's that's the, 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 that's the work of, like, the one true powerful villain, and then the, the, the heroes teaming up to, to save the day of the power of friendship and all that bullshit. You know, if Palpatine was smart, he would have used that time travel temple. I don't know. I think Master Uthar Which everyone has, has been adamant to, to say that it's been closed off it. and destroyed. Yeah, it, it can't <laughs> travel anymore. It does not make it through its droid. own introductory Looked episode because reward. I think the writers Lots are aware that, oh but my god, you can't. Yet. Someone at Disney went, what the fuck are you doing? Because, some, because <laughs> like, like, the fan boner <laughs> just goes through the roof for the ability to pull anyone out of anywhere. Oh my god, what if you could go get Anakin? Yeah, he could yeah. fight yeah, 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 yeah. Darth Vader. Right? It's or, or, or introducing like a Secret Wars style character where you can just pull anyone from any universe, drop them into a fighting tournament, and then put them back with their memory forgotten. Oh my god, yeah. who's that talking to Yoda? Is that a chord? They're friends. <laughs> They're friends. Seems that way. They're they say that it's audio receptors. Turns out they lost their memory and they went back the to their timelines. The but they're friends. If you're planning on going in, mm. I suggest you use some sound suppressors or something, or you'll probably become a target. So right the away. assassin droid, or not the assassin droid, the droid that went nuts in here I, is very sensitive I don't to think sound. So. Yeah, so I'm wondering if like living matter, but this that is going be to be a gameplay droids, sound required village. thing, or if we can just go inside that haven't come out for a while now. I Pocket should I be able to brute force anything. I feel like I can. If I can brute force Malik, anything under Malik should be handleable, <laughs> no? But that was Malik in the battle that sure you're thing. supposed to win. Right? Uh? So that's what I'm saying, like, unless there's a gameplay thing stopping me because of sound. Oh yeah, we'll see. We'll see right. in a second. Tomb of Marco Ragnos. 
That sounds that's like a, a World of Warcraft. That's a boss. that's such a wow character, dude. I was about to say, what is this fucking World You're of Warcraft? You're being attacked right now. All right. Well, we've got four storm, so let's do our speed up, and then let's let's drop it on him. Let's see what happens. Oh, not the door. Jolie, what are you doing? I'm I'm trying to target. Yeah, I was like, why why is that? What is exa What am I looking at? There's that <laughs> war droid. But then there was another. Yeah, there's another one. Okay, so they're all. Uh, so he's just way up in the front. Yeah, Jolie, got, okay. he got. Got it, got it, got he it. He got, got fucking it. tired and decided to just go. And he's killing them all so fast that you're sure just not is. able to get in there. Yeah. He's also taken um, zero hits of damage. Sure hat. Okay, Jolie, can I can I have some? No. Jolie. Yo, that's a good move for dark side characters. <laughs> Does it wipe the Q? No, does it wipe the Q every time? Uh, it wipes the Q per dead guy. Per dead guy. So when you queued up five hits on a guy, and yes. then that guy dies, then obviously the, the Q of hits on that guy are gone. So, Force Storm in, uh, in two is so broken that oh. it changes the balance of the game if you play a dark side character. Dark Souls Lightning Spear. Yeah. So like the the basic gist of it is in in Kotor 2. Oh, Jolie's actually taking some hits. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're keeping, just, I'm keeping an eye on it. Yeah, you're just, you're just I'm keeping an eye on it. So in Kotor 2, this is like a corridor, just a like gears uh, corridor. Yeah. In in this game, the scout slash uh, I think scout slash sentinel is probably the strongest class, right? Basilisk setup. In Kotor 2, it's it's the soldier types. It's just the the, the melee Jedi's that are by far the strongest, unless you're rolling dark side. Okay. Because if you're rolling dark side, then Force Storm can just fucking kill everything. Everything. It's so much stronger than its light side equivalent. Ooh, a data recorder. And a sound dampening stealth unit. Oh, so that's supposed to help me. I guess. I guess it is. Let's see what the data recorder has to say. Yeah, that's a good pockets. I haven't been able to catch my poor creation as of yet. We've been trying to capture it without storing it. The thing is too valuable. It's hard to be so quiet as it is necessary, however. It identifies targets through sound. I'm glad we brought sound dampeners with us, provided that idiot Ben Hall uses his. Okay, well, they were trying to... Let's, let's, they were trying to, like... Let's go look at the fucking yeah. sound dampener. They weren't trying to destroy it as much as, like, get it back. So. I think it looks like a belt. Uh... There it is, sound dampening stealth unit. The Republic unit improves on stealth mode field by dampening all sound. Okay, so stealth up. Uh, user must go into stealth mode. So this was a mission that probably would have been dead. Uh, this is the first and stealth possibly oriented. only stealth oriented mission in the game. Yes. Uh, okay, so there's no corpses here. Great, what's at the back of the temple? See, this is a cool temple, it's a big line. Hey, Joey, why don't you, uh... Why don't you top the gang up? HK Smart didn't take a single hit. Not one hit, HK. That's a smart droid. Good. 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 Bucket of bolts. Right what the there. fuck are they supposed to do with Tor in the future? Now that the whole game has been annihilated from... Like, <laughs> right? Like... Ooh. Ooh, something's going on in here. Hey, guys, what's up? Too much audio input. Audio systems overloading. Must destroy source of disturbance. Must kill sentience. If this goes really bad, I'll put the stealth suit on. Mm-hmm. Rogue Assassin Drain. So that's the one, and he's calling in some backup. Okay. Yep. So... Yeah, that's, that's the solution right there. <laughs> I believe if you want to solve this peacefully... Why is... why no happen? My feet are gonna goo. There's a peaceful solution? Yeah. I believe it's put the dampener on before you walk in. So he'll talk to you instead of... whatever. Okay, but, well, I'm, I'm, there's my... There it is. I'm running low, but... Yeah, yeah those all counted. But they just MP weren't coming wise. out. Yeah, they just weren't coming out. Hmm. Curious. Alright. HK has been... Yeah, let's just go back to the... Well, I'm out of meter, so there we there go. There we go. Hey, look. 
Hey, look, this is all working. Hey, your uh, your modified uh, lightsabers with your ion damage seem to be doing just fine. Oh my god. All right, we all good? Yeah. It's so busted. We are all <laughs> good. Hey, Jolie, why don't you top us off, huh? He's busy murder. That's fine. We're, we're, we're almost He knows done. better. We're almost done. Oh, he decided for CC instead. Fair. Well, that was a assassin droid easy to kill. Fair. I don't remember that ever. I don't remember this entire sequence. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I remember going through the tombs and shit, right? But, like, I don't remember the assassin droid with the noise. It's quite possible that, that I did the same thing that you did, and therefore... Just ran not, forward. Not the most memorable. Okay, we've got a tomb door. Hell yeah, you do. We've got a back door. The, that back door doesn't go anywhere, I don't think. I think it's that's green, though. Yeah, I think green is... Green is just... Door. Door. Blue is zone door. <laughs> zone door. That's a good fantasy character name. I should write a fantasy novel. About numbers. I thought you were gonna say about zone, because I'm like, yeah. Well, that's a that's a different whole novel. Defeats the purpose of zone. Well done. Fucking cool. Sith sarcophagus. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, get, I get to fucking desecrate. You got Marco Ragnos gauntlets and, and a sigil. All right, let's see what the Marco Ragnos gauntlets yeah, are about. Of that crystal ain't nothing special. Restricted to dark side. Focus lights weapon focus lightsaber. Bonus feet. Specialization lightsaber. Ancient but still intact, these guns are pretty evasive black scales and they pulse with dark power. So it gives you uh, uh weapon spec lightsaber. If and you didn't have it. Yeah, so this is good for the people magic that didn't types. go that way. I hope there's an equivalent on the opposite end. Because I'm super specialized as a lightsaber fucker. Yes, yes you are. Which means, if it would be nice if I could get some gloves that make me mad. I believe the mask is regenerating- yeah, the mask is regenerating your force points right now! Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Which is so good! What do they look like? It's so- uh, they don't actually show up on your character. Oh, my gloves are just like, yeah. extra, yeah, okay, alright. Um, I- dude... I can think of few types of buffs that I like more than just passively regenerate all, all your resource, whatever it happens to be. Turn the game into Gears of War. Alright. I don't quite get where you're going with that. That's the second... Have you been playing Gears of War lately? No, it's just because uh, one hallway, right? That's ah. I just thought that's all I thought of. And, this, and the second reason is because uh, you don't have a life bar, you just take prolonged damage over mm -hmm. time. And like that's the first major game I could think of where that was a thing that oh, comes to mind. Oh, can you tell her that uh, you fucking wiped that shit? Because there definitely were games before that where damage was just a matter of, like, exposure and not, droid. like, a life bar. But I, I feel like yours was the first one to, like, really popularize it, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, did you destroy it? I sure did. Oh, well. I guess it's good that the deed is done. Hope you stomped it good for my friends. At any rate, if you haven't already, you might want to go and see Master Uthar about that reward. Prestige is gold, you know. Shouldn't you be trying to take credit for that? Isn't that supposed to be what you're supposed to do right now? Okay, bye. Um, yeah, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. Uh, Bunch of dumbasses. So no, that's 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 exactly it though. Like it's like a life bar and like MP and HP that just regen while Sorry, you stand around. I'm rather busy with the uh, planning right now. Wonder how many people became Sith just so they could be big oh, nerds and dig through shit. You. You're new to the academy, aren't you? Hey, Neil, I can't say we've ever met. <laughs> Did you, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Let, I'm not gonna blow people's spots up. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> it was just a really, mm -hmm. really funny reaction to um, to me laughing at the, uh, the 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 losers that were standing outside shitting their pants all day. <laughs> Some interpreted that as me just being so anti-religion that, like, I it said it's coming <laughs> through my pores, and I'm like, what? <laughs> no, man, you dumb man. Lore, uh, at your service. Hey, Gallon. Gallon Lore. Tombs fascinating. We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. You should have. What are you doing? 
I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of a Ajanta Paul. Okay. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes oh, come good job, idiot. interred here. And I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. Mm -hmm. According to legend, Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. A Sith Lord so old that he used a goddamn sword. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. And what about the source powers? Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Hmm. No. Why don't you go in? These tombs are certainly this... not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting. This academy only makes any it. sense at all if you're getting like. Oh, you a coward then? Why are you uh, such a coward? Like Blarg? a thousand, well, I, I, two I want thousand powers, recruits a person, day, but I'm not stupid. right? Because yeah. every of. single thing you've encountered on this planet kills people. Every test. Well, Every mm -hmm. con uh, competition mm -hmm. ends up with dead students. It's basically I Australia. Yeah, also keep it. Um, I saw an interesting cutscene uh, about uh, well, explaining course, pretty much about like business. how the ongoing war and every war that has come since in recent history is pretty much like like there was a there was a point where it more or less ended. And like we can, and so here's the thing. You know the confusion about the Sith and the Sith. And I the thought Sith? you were talking about real war. No, 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 no. no. I mean Star War. <laughs> oh, Star War. The Star War. Got it. So one of the old war of in the Star <laughs> was when the uh, like so the Republic first encountered the Sith, and it's not the Sith race, but the Sith uh, uh, um, organization, uh, nation, let's yeah. say, and. Um, they and like totally like used and like for political influence pretty much lied and you know like there was like a civil thing oh, yeah, that was totally, happening yeah. and then used that the, these outsiders as, as like a place to unite and go to war to, mm. to, to, to get everyone behind him and get power um, but then there's a point where the Republic's like pretty much crushed the, the Sith nation yeah and they had the chance to kind of like go and um, <laughs> more or less like Just make peace and let it let it rock yeah. But instead, they're like, nah, fuck it, purge him up. We can't let him come back. And, like, the defeated Sith nation at that point yeah. were pretty much like, okay, well, now we're just going to escape into the darkness and, and come now back for the, you. And now the Republic needs to go like forever. 10,000 years later or so, at which point, um, the, with Palpatine and his shit. Uh, way, you know, way, to, way to create a really good reason to destroy the Republic you forever. Yeah, you tried like, like, to genocide my culture. While their tails were between their legs and they were like, all right, we lost. They're like, nah. No, that's let's, not let's a, scrub him out. Ah, uh, you're too evil. Let's scrub him out. Wow, you can actually see that one. How about it? How oh, interesting. I wonder if I even can. Let's let's find. Let's out. attempt. You've sighted an enemy, pockets. <laughs> Dude, it didn't even hurt you. You tried. It it didn't even hurt. It, like that's a scratch. She tried. I think these tombs are supposed to represent different challenges, but you can just solve them with one challenge. Hey, it's a Dark Dukata. What are you gonna do, Dark Dukata? Uh, let's try, uh, just take some life from him. Let me top myself Why off. Why not? Delicious. He saved. Fuck. Now, it's, uh, my favorite part so far is that at random parts during these fights, they'll just all start, like, Dancing. Yeah, 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 there's that. These things have actually pretty so strong force resistance. Mm -hmm. So Jolie is turning out to be not useful at all. Oh well. See, he's trying. I, I just appreciate some, some good showmanship. It's just the animation for Force Whirlwind looks so fucking dumb. 
Like, hey, there's no other way but to just grab the model, pretty much T-pose them, and then spin them on its Z-axis. The the spin only, it on its Z-axis. The only question is whether or not you're gonna T-pose it. Um... I'm, uh... I forgot what I was saying. Okay. Well, T-pose it in, like, a falling animation. Right? Because that's ostensibly what's supposed to be happening. Data pad. Uh, Sith archaeologist Varan Gall consists of uninteresting notes. Strangely enough, I found traces of Therangan in the tomb. It's an unstable black rock used as fuel by lesser races. Perhaps the ancient Sith and Corbin used it as a power source. It is volatile and dangerous and reacts violently to fire. Okay. The walls are laced with bombs. Oh, you coming out of the walls now? Seven arm. There's just a seven arm here. It also has a data pad. Useful. Uh, enterprising young Sith looking for the sword. There's got to be a way to get past this obelisk blocking the bridge. It seems to be made of some kind of unstable material. I'm willing to bet some kind of energy charge will set it off. Flash fires and doing the trick over. I'll try to use some kind of explosive. So hope that guard droid over there isn't defunct. It's not like I have friends with magic powers to move things. It's a rune covered obelisk. No, I can't even interact with it. I see. What about the Sith corpse? Sonic grenade. I see. Okay. All right. So let's see what happens if we just try to walk the walk. Let us see. Yes, that is a smart thing to do. I suspect something bad might happen. Oh, it's a Therangan obelisk. Oh, so I have to put something in. Yes. Now, did I pick up anything I would be able to put in there? Yeah, you picked up a sonic grenade off one of those guys, remember? But you, it would, you, would you... Yeah, but remember how it worked with the goddamn Rancor yes. way back? It's just like... You gotta switch the gear. Just item. And then... Oh, boy. Oh, darn. Oh, yeah. The entire video game inventory. This is a... Massive UI problem. <laughs> I mean, you only have to do this twice. Yeah. But holy shit, guys. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that is not something this game was really. All right. To... So those are unreachable by lightsaber. So I can grenade them. I... I don't know. I wonder what type I need. Let's see what this I, does. Ion would be the, the type of Let's code, see yeah. what this does. It does good. It went through their shields. It went alright. Yeah, it went alright. It went straight through their shields. No problem. It's actually super duper okay. Everything's gonna be fine, Pockets. It's, it's, it's cool and crisp. I think you might want to just move Pockets. Oh, who's that flying over there? Is that a bat? Wow, they're just firing, like, HK is doing it really well, actually. You feel like it? There you there go. There you go. There you go. Suck it, Ajunta Paul. What do you got? Oh, oh there's a lever. Droids hate lightning. Who'd have thunk it? I think that lever turns them off. <laughs> That's cute. Pockets, you're solving these problems weird. This isn't how the ancient Sith Lords thought that you should solve this problem. Well, here's the problem. When you design a puzzle, but the puzzle has a life bar... Just shoot it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Your puzzle should not have a life bar. Pockets is like Kenshiro right now with these mines. Like, just slowly walking through the building. It's a statue. Let's take a look at it. Nothing to look at. Fuck off, statue. Yet. Hey, what about this corpse? Somebody got this far. Oh, and they had a retinal comblat. 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 A lot of money, though. Yeah. Buried Sith. You got a vibra sword, a silver line sword, and a notched steel sword. It faded to black there. Yeah. What was that about? Okay, let's read these. The blade of the sword is an ebony black and notched along its length to give a cruel and jagged appearance. There's a strange visual effect upon the sword, which makes it seem as a shadow's pulse and ebb along its surface. It is very cool to the touch, and upon close ins inspection, there's a small insignia of a dark circle on its hilt. 
So this is probably it. Well, let's check out the silver line sword. This blade is long and straight and sparkles with a silver glow that becomes brighter as the hilt's touch and is quite warm. Almost appears as though the blade uh, uh, it becomes white hot once it is equipped. So a fire weapon could be devastating against an unarmed opponent. Small insignia of a flame is impressed upon the hilt. This is also it, just in case you use this other type of what sword. What is uh, the <laughs> and then the last one is just vibro sword. Yeah. You gotta make it vibro sword. Yeah. It's no, it's that one. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm on vibro sword. I'll tr yeah. It would keep going. Okay, maybe that's different. That one. There we go. Okay, same identical name. Terrible. Like most vibro blades, this weapon lets off a dim hum sound once activated. It's length shimmers with a deep. A uh, blue-colored force field, and its hilt is the black of charcoal. A single insignia upon the the, the hilt shows a red, baleful eye. Yeah. So this is... Uh, there is a legendary blade, but you might be one of three weapon-type users. So here's the one, two, and double that you might need. I'm going to just check before... Uh... I mean, look. They're not going to beat uh, uh, 4 to 14 and 4 to 18. So... That's nice, you know? But maybe they have a cool visual effect on them. Maybe. Oh, wow. This sword shows up all over the place. Does it? Oh, yeah. It had an appearances tab on its own wiki. Uh... Alright. Wait, wait. What, what was Vibro Sword? What was the other one called again? Vibro Sword, Notched Sword, and fucking... Yeah, it's Vibro Sword. And then... We'll just see how they look. <laughs> no, N? No. No. <laughs> I already forgot the name, dude. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah? Don't worry about it. It ain't much. So there is a correct sword. Oh. That's what I was looking for. Oh. Because I also oh. jumped to your conclusion and was like, wait a second. All right, so let's back out. I put one on. Oh, don't take 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 it off, man. Okay. Just fucking. What are you doing? I can get that. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> yes, because you got to put them in the fucking statue's hand. Obviously, duh. Stupid. Sorry. Which, which lightsaber is the good one? The one with the big number. Is that the big number? It's the biggest number. Yes. Okay. So now you get to go to the Sith statue and hand it the correct one.